Hey, party people. Good morning, Krusty Crew. We just pulled up to the Bricks and Minifigs in Austin, Texas. I'm really excited to check them out today because I heard they got some new exciting things. Ross is excited too. But also, last time we were here, they had a bunch of really cool stuff on the shelves, especially some older soccer stuff. Oh yeah, because the World Cup's going on right now. USA moved on from the quarterfinals or something like that. I don't know, but yay. Yay. The Bricks and Minifigs store here in Austin, Texas has a lot of really great deals going on now through the end of the month. And they also have this thing where you can build your own own Lego ornament, which sounds pretty awesome. So I'm really excited about that. The prices here are always fair and I actually prefer shopping here rather than ordering on Bricklink. Nine times out of 10, it's cheaper. So definitely make sure to stop by and check them out this month. And also make sure to tell them that we sent you. All right, Ross, where are we at? Bricks and minifigs. Bricks and minifigs, bricks and bricks and bricks and minifigs. So excited. Thank you, Ross. Yeah. What are you looking at, Ross? Right, right off the bat, I think I already see something I might want to grab. So. They do have a few of the old school Winter Village sets. Expert only. This looks like it's 2014. Okay, so it's actually more recent than I thought. But we don't really have a Santa's Workshop. There is the Santa Workshop gift with purchase that just came out, but it's kind of not the same. And I kind of like this one a little bit more. And what's nice is they have the new in-box version here uh, for that price, but it, they have most wow. of the building down here for $50. And this is actually all I care about because uh, we got molded reindeer now and I don't think I want those brick built ones. So I think we're gonna pick this one up today. What do you think, Ross? I think so too. I think this will go really well on the winter display that you're building. Ross is putting it in the pile. Yay! So I just want your guys' opinion. Between the reindeer, which, which one's the superior reindeer? We got this one here. They got the printed eyes, but they're kind of, they're kind of basic. And then you got this one over here from last year's uh, gift with purchase. Uh, there's a lot more detail going on, but it looks almost like a claymation version. <laughs> so let us know down below. <laughs> which one which, do we like better? Which buildable reindeer is the superior buildable reindeer? That one looks more like a caribou, actually. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> so speaking of Winter Village sets, they also have this one here. I actually don't know what this one is called. This one's from 2010. Check it out how old it is. They have like these cool uh, little skating pieces here, but they're just like the teeth. Oh, um, wow. They're not using like the, the skating pieces that we've had for the past few years. That owl, that's the old school, like Harry Potter owl. So it's pretty old school. I like seeing stuff like this. Oh, and they're pulling, he got stuck in the, in the snow and they're pulling him <laughs> out. And the little kid is crying. <laughs> They're so expressive. That's so sad. Okay, so I gotta say, I'm actually pretty surprised that both of these sets are still here. Um, I think these are incredibly good value at what they're priced at. And what's cool is if you just imagine with me that if you actually get both of these sets, you can build this large one. That's pretty cool. And this is really fun. We actually played this before here at Bricks and Minifix. I had a completely built one of both of these sets together. And it was actually really fun. And especially since like the World Cup is going on right now, I, I really can't believe that this set hasn't sold yet. No, I'm kind of shocked. Last time we were here, we got one of the other soccer sets. It was down here. It was like the women's team. Battle pack. Yeah, it was like the women's, <laughs> women's battle pack. That one was pretty cool. Everybody's got to love the classic little baby Groot. Um, if you guys didn't check it out already, there's the uh, Guardians of Galaxy. Galaxy holiday special. It was pretty cute. I recommend it. <laughs> I really liked it. This is the original Eiffel Tower official Lego set. Um, we have probably about two thirds of the new one built yet. Emily's mom helped us out a lot with it. Yay, thanks Mama Saurus. <laughs> it's so crazy seeing the differences. You know, this one is a lot of bricks and a lot of like just plates and stuff. The, the new one is just super intricate. It has like a lot of little tiny pieces. This is a long lost theme. If you're a fan of Ninjago, this is one for you. I have a Midwestern accent there. <laughs> so this is XO Force. I want to say, I can't remember what year this exactly was. 2008. So in 2008, we didn't have Ninjago, we had Exo Force, which was like these crazy little anime guys. Um, there's actually no minifigures in this set. Oh, but, weird. Yeah, yeah, so it's just the bad guys, but um, you kind of see in some of the other ones, the minifigures had like these crazy anime expressions. So it was really cool. Uh, pretty cool, they actually have three of the same set. So you can build a cool little uh, Exo Force bug army, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this, I actually really like this set. I'm not a big sequel guy, you guys know that already, but. I actually like this set, you know, it's a little reminiscent of the uh, Tantive 4. Um, this is the ITS Transport, and it was originally supposed to be like a Disneyland or Disney World exclusive that you can only buy in Bot 2. But, uh, you know, a global pandemic happened, you might remember. And they ended up just kind of selling this, I think, at Lego stores and at Target. Um, what's pretty cool about it is you get Lieutenant Beck, who's actually voiced by Obi-Wan from the Clone Wars animated show and then Vi Moradi, but you can actually find her at the park about to. So really cool fun fact about this set is this was actually the very first set 
Emily built on a live stream on the channel. Oh, so it's, it's kind true. of a throwback. And it's something really yeah. exciting I like seeing here. <laughs> Are the older modulars. They have the Grand Emporium here from 2010. This is one of my favorites. I just love the billboards on the top there. And of course, Assembly Square and the bookshop. Speaking of the Gardens of the Galaxy holiday special, this set I've always wanted. I never got it. And you know, oh. I kind of wish I did only because I really don't have any of these figures other than Star-Lord. I believe this is the only way you could get Yondu. Uh, Aisha, I don't know what happened to her. She was like at the beginning of the second movie. And then the baby Groot here is just way That's too cute. That's so cute. There's a little tiny oh. Groot. I love all the different like That's ages so of good. Groot. Right? <laughs> all right, this is one of my like favorite um, Power Miner sets from when I was a kid, the Thunder Driller. And check it out, so it Whoa. back and forth. <laughs> like it actually drills. I had so much fun with this one. Did you ever uh, take it in the dirt? No, I don't want to get dirty. Man, Power Miners had the coolest thing. This one's so cool. It's like a little centipede That's cool. looking thing. And I love the story of the, the crystal monsters and stuff. So like the whole thing was is that you could grab the big monster and you put a small monster inside and then you would fling it. <laughs> and you can fling it at the Power Miners. Sound more so rocks. Great. I love Power Miners so much. Okay, this one's cool, the, the Mega Mech. Um, and he shoots like water and stuff like that. And he has like a weird claw thing. And I really liked their um, like Crow mini figures. And then this one's cool. What is this? The Boulder Blaster? I don't think I had this one, but I remember the whole gimmick here was that you could shoot dynamite at things. You know, violence is very violent. Awesome set. Oh, I absolutely love seeing these things. Ooh, and then something I'm excited about. They have a mystery machine in stock here. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite Lego set. It has all the minifigs in it. They're just chilling on the roof, of course. And then the little tree. So I have two of these sets built and then I think one more new in box. But it's nice having multiple because I have one in my display room for Lego and then one in my Lego city. But yeah, seeing Lego Scooby-Doo here always makes me so happy. All right, check it out. This is always nice to see and these always go faster in the store. Anything with the Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean just had amazing minifigures in general. I like this guy a lot with like the shell on his head. It kind of, from a distance, it looks like a giant dog poop, but oh my it's God, really Ross. a hot shell. <laughs> I think this is from the first movie where Jack Sparrow and Will Turner are like fighting on top of the mill here. So that's kind of cool. So you can kind of reenact that a little bit. A little bell tower and stuff like that. Ah, really that's like a cool set. Yeah, those are really fun. Whoa, this one's like an alligator, right? Is that oh, what's yeah, happening like here? The crocodile boat. It has like the tail in the back. <laughs> that's your, so cool. Your uh, Florida Bio Lego sets. So I actually didn't see these at first. So Imagine, the year is 2000, Lego doesn't have any licenses to Jurassic Park. So they make their own, it's like Jurassic Smark. <laughs> Triassic <laughs> Park. <laughs> yeah. So there's like a lot going on in here. I love this dinosaur. This is like the OG dinosaur. I have one of these. Um, it's cool oh, seeing wow. the Stegosaurus. I remember like really wanting this one as a kid. And it was kind of part of the whole Adventures theme, so it had the, the hook guy from the Adventures theme. What is that one called? Pterodactyl. A pterodactyl, right? Yes, the pterodactyl. Paradisa. Oh, I love this man. set just for this one thing. So we just finally got a molded pony one or two CMFs ago. Um, but before that, this was the only molded pony they had in minifigure Aww. form. That's so cute. Okay, so this is kind of a cool treat to see. This is the uh, the Quickie Mart from 2015. This is the second Simpson set, and if you don't count the uh, the CMFs, I just think it's so fun seeing this. So this here is my first time seeing CMF Series 23, and these look so cute. I love the little popcorn, the Titanic dude, the turkey. These are just really cute the little snow globe. I love these. There's a lot of holiday themed ones, which will be perfect for our winter village. Pop quiz, Emily. What's up? How many rings were given to the Elven Kings beneath um, the sky? Three. All right, and to the dwarves in their hall of stone? Nine. Seven. There you go, and to the men doomed to die? Three. Mm, Nine. Yeah, and how many to rule them all? One. There you go. <laughs> you nailed it. it like First try. B minus. And something kind of cool that they have here is just a bunch of these smaller vehicles, but something I like to see are all of these little cars builds. They make me really happy. Sometimes they have little micro scale mystery machines here, but I haven't seen any in a while. Oh, there's a little like planes car thing. I didn't see that movie, but it's kind of neat. All right, got a stretch. Get ready, because we're about to go check out the Star Wars aisle. All right. So I was tipped off. They have some great things here right off the bat. Check it out. We got our tactical droid and we got a phase two Captain Rex hanging out by Luke's lightsaber over there. 
Oh, it's beautiful. I actually was able to get that tactical droid last year for a little bit of a cheaper price, but it's gone up tremendously. I think it's just because we're starting to see it more in like Bad Batch and some other things. And then phase two, Captain Rex. So his price has kind of gone up and down a little bit recently. I think there's, you know, a lot of speculation that we'll finally be getting a phase two Captain Rex um, this coming year. So maybe we'll see, we are getting the phase two Rex helmet. So I, I feel like that warrants us maybe expecting to finally get like Captain Rex's Y-Wing Starfighter at some point. Looking here, we got a few Rebels characters. Everybody loves Sabine, Ezra, Kanan, our troopers, some cool stuff here. I always check out the troopers. That's always my number one thing. And they got a pretty decent selection of clone troopers. I've seen more before, but this one isn't bad. I love that they have the episode two clone pilot. It's not really an easy one to get. So it's kind of cool seeing these here. We've been coming to this Bricks and Minifigs now for maybe three years, pretty much since it opened. So maybe, maybe even longer than that. I think I've seen almost every figure and every set come through here for Star Wars. So if you just kind of keep coming in, you'll eventually find something you've been looking for. So earlier we showed you that phase two Rex. Well, here's Santa Claus Rex. Um, this comes in the shuttle Tidarium from, I think this is probably the best version of the Imperial shuttle, excluding the UCS one. And it's just hard seeing this one in person and then seeing the one we got last year. And I'm like, Man, this one's so much better. I really like this one. That does look a lot nicer, yeah. Comes with much better figures too. So this is supposed to be Captain Rex, kind of, sort of. Uh, we got Leia with a poncho back there. We got Han Solo with a poncho printed as well as some other trooper and a Wookiee. So really like that one. Over here, this is where it all started. You remember the 501st Battle Pack ATRT Clone Scout Walker? It's all based off of this design. Even back then in 2005, they made it too big. Oh wow. Some other cool ones here. This is old school 2004. This is the second snow speeder they ever had. I remember having this one too. And I think I still have this one. And it kind of scales pretty well with the UCS ATAT. Um, then we got a Hina battle droid, or uh, sorry, we got a Hina bomber droid, as well as the droid tri fighter. And this one's cool because it opens up buzz droids. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fun. This one's really interesting. I really like this one because it comes with like this cool tank top Luke from Dagobah. And yeah. this is the 2003 X Wing. This is the first X Wing that was white. So before this, we had the 1999 slash 2001 that was gray. So kind of cool seeing this. And actually, I still have parts of this hut here. Um, it's kind of a fun little build. You can turn it around and you can lift that up and it actually opens up. So you can like, oh, that's cool. you can have little dollhouse parties with Yoda. This set's really cool. It's based kind of off of the extended universe E-Wing. Um, this is Jack 14's stealth fighter. Um, but what's interesting here is uh, Jack 14, I think this is Jack 14 is his arm there is translucent so for years you know lego tells us oh we can't make force ghosts but then we look at his arm and i was like i don't know you guys made a translucent arm over there i think you might be able to pull something i up. think they could yeah that'd be cool so maybe one day we'll get some force ghosts but until then we'll just get jack 14's arm hey emily can we get java's palace we have java's palace the java's palace we have at home <laughs> All right, so to be fair, it is kind of, this set is probably one of my favorite Star Wars sets. This set is just absolutely amazing. The figures are great. Comes with uh, Bosch Ula, uh, Salicious B. Crumb. I don't know what the B stands for in his name. Let us know if you know. Uh, Jabba the Hutt, Chewie, the weird spider monk guy that I don't know what his deal is. Um, a lot going on in Jabba's palace. This set actually goes on top of the Rancor pit and you can open it and like have someone fall down into it. It's pretty cool. Get yeah. hit by the Rancor. Now what's really interesting about this set, this set itself isn't, you know, too crazy. Um, it's just, you know, some pillars and, you know, like a, a door that comes up and down. But honestly, what's going to sell it is going to be the Rancor. Look at that. Um, we all thought we'd get another Rancor when Book of Boba Fett came out, but we never actually did. Um, but what's interesting about this is this is one expensive big fig i don't know what you would call it but uh so much so we actually have two but our second one is missing two fingers and we went to price it out and it's almost twenty dollars per finger on brickwink <laughs> to get new fingers for the rancor so guess, guess which rancor is going to be missing a uh, finger for a while <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh this is the quinjet you know what's really cool is lego just announced that they're going to be making a remake of the 2012 quinjet um, that's really exciting for me because I had that original Quinjet in 2012 and I was really happy about it because that was like the first time, you know, Lego did any Marvel sets besides the old Tobey Maguire Spider-Man sets. Uh, so it's always got a special place in my heart. So I'll probably be picking that one up next year. And then over here, this is actually my favorite DC set of all of Lego. Hot take. Better than any Batman set. 
is the uh, the Dark Side Invasion. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it comes with Dark Side. It's an awesome set. I love that set so much, and it's a shame they don't make more of those like DC sets that aren't Batman. Check this out. They have a few uh, uh, Dodge Chargers here and a Harley Davis. But if you say them really quick, it almost sounds like the song from Law & Order SVU. Dum dum, Harley Davidson. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so they have a few elves sets here, and this is one of my favorite themes. Like they're just so colorful and weird. And then this one here has the dragon. I'm not sure, it's supposed to come down in the front. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, cool. All right, well, everyone's admiring the Eiffel Tower slash Christmas tree holiday display. <laughs> but I think we're about to check out. Ross has the Lego. Are you happy with what we found? I am. I also got a shin splint halfway through shopping. It's really competitive in there. I was actually really surprised to find a good deal on a Winter Village set, especially since it's December. Like normally this time of year, all the Winter Village stuff is just like either gone or really expensive. So 50 bucks, I am so happy with that. Do you want to show the world what we bought? All right, get your Festivus pants on. So gotta be a little delicate with it. We got <laughs> Santa's workshop. Ah! And I think it's gonna work really well with their winter display because it's relatively flat. Um, but it also has a little bit of an angle to it. So I'm excited to have this because it felt weird having a North Pole without like, you know, Santa's workshop, right? Doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Um, oh my gosh, wait. This sticker on the inside, I hope you guys can see that. Kind of funny, Emily pointed out, it says, uh, Santa needs you to join the Yuletide army. I don't know who Santa enemy is actually. Uh, Krampus? So yeah, I'm pretty excited about getting that Winter Village set today. I didn't think we would find any, so that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna head home and probably just add that to our Winter Village and try to find a good home for that. So yeah, anyways, y'all definitely come by and check out Bricks and Minifigs here in Austin, Texas. They really have such a good selection of Lego and it's always rotating. Literally every time we're here, it's a totally different inventory. So it makes it really exciting. Plus we found a really good deal on a Winter Village set. So definitely check them out this month and let them know that we sent you. With that being said, thank you everyone so much for watching this video and thank you so much to Bricks and Minifigs here in Austin, Texas for sponsoring the video. Hey. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm on to you. We see the analytics. We know. Thanks everyone so much for watching and we'll see you next time. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming.